Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I am going to be talking about this HP Omen Obelisk PC, gaming PC that I recently acquired and have been testing out and using for the last month and a half or two months as my main day-to-day -day PC. And uh, yeah, so we're going to jump in and talk a little bit about this, go through some of the specs, the benchmarking that I've done, and a little bit of gameplay in Fortnite. Now. If you haven't seen this machine, so HP has been making, you know, these various HP Obelisk gaming machines. Really, they're they're kind of geared towards gamers for the last year or two, I think. And this is the HP Obelisk desktop with the newest Core i9 processor. So it has the i9 9900 9900K processor. So that's obviously one processor has eight cores, but it has multi uh you know, it has hyper-threading, so it's running 16 threads. It's the Coffee Lake Intel chipset, die size and all that. So this is a socket uh, 1151 LGA, and it's a HP motherboard. It has 32 gigs of RAM, and base frequency is right around 3.6 gigahertz with a turbo boost max of around 5 gigahertz. And this one really nice because it has the GeForce RTX 2080 Super graphics card in it. So I will tell you right now, before we even go any further, that this machine is pretty, pretty amazing. Now, my last PC was actually a Hackintosh that I was using, and I built maybe back in 2016, so it's been a few years, and I used uh, you know Core i7 processor and you know probably top-of-the-line Asus comp components and all that. And, uh, you know, I needed to update my PC, and I just, you know, I built a bunch in the past, but this time I got the opportunity to try out this, which is kind of a pre-built thing, and, you know, comes in right around $2,000. I spent more than that a few years ago, and really, I think for the graphics card in particular and some of the things that you get with this, it's a super good deal. I mean, you might be able to build it cheaper. Obviously, everyone here is going to comment and say that they can build it cheaper. But for the all-around package and not having to mess with it, it it's actually really pretty good, I think. You know, if you're, you're not a uh, techie person that w wants to get in there and buy all the components and build your own PC, out of the box, this is a pretty nice machine, I, I, I do have to say. So what I'm going to do here real quick is just run this user benchmark so I can just get a sense of the performance of the machine overall. And I won't spend too much time there, so I'll kind of just kind of zip to the end and, and not wait. And then I'll show you the results, and then we'll play a little bit of Fortnite just to see how it performs in a game. So this is the results of the user benchmark. And one thing, I've ran this a couple times. I'm not quite sure why it keeps saying very high, high background CPU. There's really nothing else running. I, can't, I killed every task that I could kill on this thing. Um, so I'm really not quite sure what um, if this is a common thing or what. But um, regardless, we'll take a look. So if you look at the performance, range of classifications for this test basically goes from tree trunk which is on the low end to ufo on the high end right so ufo would be pretty fast you know pretty pretty good uh, cpu gpu hard drive memory all of that and this computer out of the box this is again right like just the hp omen obelisk machine just windows 10 nothing else. I didn't change any of the graphics or memory or hard drive or anything. This is basically just really out of the box. And it scores at the top of this chart um, or top of this c comparison. So 121% in gaming, 135% in desktop, 131% as a workstation, right? So overall. So and one thing it's saying, it's it's performing as expected in the 60th percentile. So, uh, you know, the same components and all of that. This doesn't hit the top end of the overall status, which is weird. Um, again, I, it might have to do something with the high background CPU or whatever's doing that. So I might have to take a few more looks at that. But but the hard drive, so it has the inbuilt uh, SSD, super fast there, great graphics. 
and you know it's got 32 gigs of memory so it should be set so yeah so this just goes through and some of the drives that i have in here are um you know, most of them i guess are above average so i've got some seagate uh raid uh, seagate external drive some seagate barracuda drives internal that are rated uh, for a lot of my stuff and the kingston memory you know scores pretty well so everything is really you know pretty scores well well out of the box you know with the exception of and i wonder if some of this 60th percentile thing is because i have these other drives attached that are slower like the seagate one touch uh it's ssd external i don't know what happened here um but i mean again that's like more of like a backup drive it's not supposed to be a high performance drive same thing with this usb drive here but the internal stuff works pretty well so this you know this ssd which is the boot drive it's intel uh scored pretty good uh and then the seagate barracudas that are inside are pretty good as well yeah so <clears throat> overall you know pretty happy with the scores here and you know during the gameplay it definitely uh tells a story that it that it is that it is working really well hey everybody just jumping into the gameplay portion of this review for the HP Omen Obelisk computer. I would have already gone over a bunch of the specs and all the information about the computer a little bit earlier on in this video. So here I just want to show a little bit of the gameplay using Fortnite. I am not an expert at Fortnite. My son is far better at Fortnite than me, but I, I do just kind of play uh, for fun with him and, and, and that sort of thing. So. Now what I've been running this at is uh, I have a 30 inch display that native resolution is 2560 by 1600. So that's what I've been using there. 120 frames per second on the frame rate limit and then epic settings across the board. So that's, those are basically my settings and it's worked pretty well. Right, uh, not really any lag, very responsive, etc. So we'll just jump into a game here, and I'll skip ahead a little bit so you can see um, just some actual gameplay. But uh, you don't want to sit through a bunch of this. So still got the Halloween theme going on here in Fortnite. As you can see, this is super responsive. I've got the Galaxy. Note 10 Glow skin that comes as part of that package. So if you end up with the Galaxy Note 10, you can get this cool, cool skin. And I did win one match, so I do get the victory umbrella here. <laughs> and I think that was mostly luck. And I'll be completely honest, I am not very good at this. I used to be pretty good way back in the day when my friends played Half-Life all the time.
That was luck. <laughs> I almost got killed there. And I'm almost... I gotta hide here and get... Uh, uh, Yeah, like I said, I am not that good. Yeah, I almost, <laughs> almost totally got killed. Uh, yeah. I don't know where that guy is. He's probably still around here somewhere. I need some more ammo. Totally screwed here.
Yeah. So that was pretty uh, <laughs> pretty rough there. Almost got killed a few different times. Like I said, I am not very good at this. And most of the time is just luck. I also don't build as much as I probably should. Like if I'm going to protect myself and build some walls or do something, I always forget to do that. Going the wrong way. Yeah, this is... Looks like there's a bunch of guys over there. Oh, shoot. Better get inside this stupid thing. Oh, why do we keep jumping off? Oh, because it is that way. Only seven people left. I see somebody. Oh crap, we got fourteen seconds to get over.
some kind of problem. That was not very good, because I almost got killed. This guy's way really over there. Let's see if I can get him. Shoot. <sighs> All right, I got number four. I placed four. Anyways, <laughs> so like I said, I'm not the greatest here at all, um, but that was fun. That guy shot me from behind too, punk. All right, so I'll jump back on the computer for a wrap up here. So that was probably way too long. I don't know if anyone actually cared to watch 20 minutes of uh, Fortnite or whatever, but actually got some pretty decent kills, even though I almost got killed myself a bunch of times. Uh, but the, the key thing I just want to bring out is that for games like Fortnite, I really haven't played too much else on here uh, yet, but this this machine really does a great job. Uh, that's all, you know, all the averages, over 100 frames a second, very fluid gameplay, and that's all at the epic setting. So I thought I think that's pretty good. If you want to take a look at this, you know, read a little bit more about the specs, etc. I'll drop the link to the Amazon listing below. Obviously, you can also go look on the uh, HP website and all of that. But again, I mean, there may be some other you know manufacturers, Cyber Power PC, others out there that make potentially. I don't know, better machines. I don't know, right? I, like I said, I, typically I've built my own. And from the just purchase off the shelf out of the box, I think that this machine is actually really, really pretty awesome. So, and I've also been using it for doing editing on Premiere and all kinds of other kind of video intensive sorts of things just for creating content for YouTube and all of that. And it's been just awesome. So overall, Five stars for me, two thumbs up, etc. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Again, link is in the description if you're interested in this. Christmas is coming up. If you're a parent looking for something for your kids and you want to spend two grand, I think this is a good gaming machine. This is Andrew from TOS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.